You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone You. Greatly appreciate you being here, greatly appreciate you leaving a review, and we greatly appreciate your support and your feedback. As always, my name is Paul. Indeed, and my name is Rob, as always. And as Paul's already expressed, we're grateful that you are hanging out with us. This is episode 988, and uh, I think this info is going to be very useful for many of you, actually. I think it's going to be useful as well as we talk about are drones encrypted? Do they actually provide an an encrypted signal? And what does that actually mean? So today we're going to be talking about the word encryption and we're going to be talking about how that could be misconstrued. We're also going to talk about how uh, you can utilize good systems to solve particular problems. So let's go ahead and get right into today's question. Uh, Just want to say again, thank you to all the members. The new class schedule should be up soon. Make sure to check it out. Just go to thedroneu.com, scroll down and click events, and you will see all the DroneU group trainings that are coming up. Also, don't forget, you can literally order a personalized training with a DroneU instructor in one of eight locations across the United States to get our famous Flight Mastery course, which is a very systematic course with multiple exercises. I believe it's 12. Uh, It's been growing since then, but I'm just going to say 12. And then finishing the day off with Through the Obstacle course. And Mm -hmm. Rob, I know you've been seeing the testimonials yourselves, but the confidence that this gives to operators is truly difficult to understand unless you've done it yourself. But it's you kind of walk away feeling much more adept to take on more drone missions, how to handle them, and how to save yourself from other problems. Yeah, for sure. It's actually been really cool and really amazing to see how much can be accomplished in terms of growth as a pilot in a single day. Couldn't agree more. With the right system and processes and instructor, which we believe we have, it's incredible. So very, very exciting to see what's happening there and just getting, again, spreading the word about education, how to fly safely, how to get more out of your drone, how to get more out of yourself. Is uh, It's a really cool thing to be a part of. So check that out at the place that Paul mentioned. Hi, this is Ron with On Point, calling from Dallas, Texas. I've got a couple of questions about uh, video downlinks and trying to find if they're encrypted on most of the commercial level drones and even the consumer prosumer level drones. So like the Matrice series, the Mavic series, uh, even the uh, parent Anafis or the Altel uh, Evo. So if you think you'd help with that, I'd appreciate it. Great question. Yeah, it is a great question. Look forward to uh, hearing all about that and how, if uh, in most cases it's not how, these folks can make sure that it is because I'm sure there are ways to do that. But if you have a question like Ron did, go to askdroneu.com. I think you'll notice that many of the questions that we've had lately have been really good and new questions. And that's because these are folks that are out there using their drone and they're figuring things out and they're realizing, hey, what about this? And my belief, my hunch is that this is happening to you as well. And it's really important that when you run across those things, you call in and ask your question because it's going to help a lot of people. It's not just going to help you. It's going to help a lot of folks that have the same question. So I know we appreciate it. I know they appreciate it. So uh, hop on askdroneu.com and get your question in. So encrypting video feeds. probably I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't happen normally. Uh, it's actually it's funny because... Um, the word encryption is very interesting. You know, when I was even searching online about our drone feeds encrypted and whatnot, obviously I understood what I was asking and kind of knew the answer before I was looking it up. But that being said, I ran across an article from 2014 where it says most drone feeds are not encrypted. Um, and that makes total sense, 100%, because everyone was just broadcasting openly on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. And you could literally buy um, any type of receiver. You could buy, uh, what is it called? The flysite monitor and you know stick some some antennas on there and pick up 
lots of different drone feeds. When it comes to FPV racers, they're still utilizing that same protocol, and none of those drones are encrypted whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to more prosumer drones and consumer drones, you're seeing more and more encryptions. In fact, mm -hmm. and I really want to talk about this because I think it's really important for people to understand encryption, what it means, who's protected. Because with DJI Lightbridge, any Phantom 4 Pro, Phantom 4 Pro version 2, um, Inspire 2, M600, um, Matrice 200, 210 version 2, uh, Mavic 2 Pro, uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise especially, and that encryption is even stronger. Any of the DJI Enterprise drones have a much stronger encryption that's being used from the bird to the, to the controller itself. Now, that's another key point to talk about, is that we are just right now talking about the encryption from the drone to the remote. We are not talking about the tablet, the tablet's ability to reach internet and get information <laughs> further, because that would really uh, take us down a rabbit hole. So what we are talking about, you just mentioned, and so that is somebody nefariously or otherwise connecting into that feed and seeing the same thing that you're seeing. Correct. Trying to protect against that. Yes, correct. Um, but that's why I also want to say that the word encryption is kind of a, a misnomer because while your feed is quote unquote encrypted, there are things out there like DJI Aeroscope, mm -hmm. uh, like the White Fox system, um, the Raytheon system. Um, I could name three other systems right now. I'm sure Boeing has something they're working they, on. Yes, they do. I forget the name of it, but mm -hmm. they do. Um, there are many systems out there that it's as easy as pushing a button and, and you can see the feed from the drone. Hmm. So while your drone signal is encrypted to your remote um, and that keeps out, let's say, 80 to 90 percent of the public from viewing what you're, you're you're shooting or what you're seeing i just want to make it really clear that while that is technically encrypted there are so many tools out there that are utilizing this encryption protocol that can essentially pull up your video feed right away and how expensive is that equipment is that something that the average joe could buy could have? i don't know the exact numbers but i'm pretty yeah. sure aeroscope mobile is like seven grand so okay. it's really like, so it's not, it, it's not cheap entry into doing that, but it's doable. It's a hundred percent doable. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's something, uh, a component called the Raider series and the Raider series is much more expensive, but I could pick up your drone TX signal from 50 miles away. Wow. There are d devices out there that while your drone signal may be encrypted because of how your phone is being displayed off of your shirt or the type of reflective material you're wearing, I can literally pick up all the material I need just based off the reflection of your phone. I mean, like, we can, go, we can go really far down the rabbit hole on this particular subject, which is why I wanted to be so careful about it, because we don't really know why he's asking for this encryption, and I think that's extremely important as to why. Because is your feed encrypted from most other people not seeing it? The answer is yes. But is it truly encrypted? And the answer is no. Now, again, there's another level of differentiation, too, between, let's just say, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Enterprise, because mm -hmm. the Mavic 2 Enterprise is fully locked up. Meaning those apparatus don't work in that case? No, Aeroscope or will still pull up a Mavic still... 2 Enterprise, which okay. is unfortunate. Um, at mm -hmm. least I've seen them pulled up. Uh, in fact, I will never forget going into the DFW example at Airworks and hearing, no, 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 because Aeroscope was going off because everyone was turning on the Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, in fact, you know, John Nunez, who's a, he's an enterprise dealer, uh, he sells Aeroscope. Uh, he was there, hmm. you know, um, so it, it's, it's just funny. Um, so going back to his question, I, he had a, he had a latter part of his question. I want to make sure we, we, we reach really quick, but just to quickly recap, is the signal technically encrypted? From most drones, the answer is yes. On the Autel Evo, I don't really know. On the unique H520, um, I really don't know. I've picked up the feed from H520 from another drone before, so I have questions with that, but frankly, I don't really know. And I would rather just come out there and say I, I don't really know. Um, but that being said, uh, just to quickly recap on DJI drones, any DJI drone that doesn't have Enterprise in the name 
um, is technically encrypted, especially the newer ones. So let's just let's classify that as 2016 and forward, okay. which will cover a large majority of the audience listening to this show. But if you have a Phantom 2, for example, it's not encrypted. You can pick it up anywhere. A lot of the older drones were not encrypted. Um, so is, is there a way to encrypt it completely? Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it makes me wonder if he's asking this question concerning the, you know, the recent DHS memos that have been coming out about, you know, protecting your data. Um, well, I think he said it, he was he had a search and rescue client. If I'm remembering the question correctly, there was some search and rescue element. Oh, oh, oh! In fact, that brings me to a really important point. I wanted to bring up if you're in public safety and you need an actual encryption that's going to comply with many of the laws that you have to comply with for government entities anyway. I think it's really, really, really important to check out this company called Drone Sense. Um, they're all about creating a seamless and and easy to use. Um, operations center that also encrypts the data. They can even locally store information or ensure that information is stored on secure servers. They have really, really secure operating systems and whatnot. And frankly, uh, you know, I I don't know a lot about this company. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of positive things about this company from people that I deeply respect. Yeah, I haven't had the chance to really go through it. It is on my list um, to go through. But as far as public safety is concerned and, uh, you know, ensuring that your data is encrypted so you don't have privacy issues and that you do comply with how some local governments and state governments have to have uh, standards when it comes to data. Um, so with that being said, um, I know that this is one way that a lot of public safety agencies are utilizing mm -hmm. this program to be used. So cool. I think it's worth it. I got to say their search and rescue picture is pretty, pretty stellar. It's like a GIF, but it's only moving right here. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So, um, so check them out. Uh, dronesense.com. That's D-R-O-N-E-S-E-N-S-E.com. In fact, one of my homies works over there now. I didn't even know it. And you didn't even tell me, Tom. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, all right. Come so, on, Tom. Come on, Tom. <laughs> and we're going to have to go back to Top Golf and, uh, and, 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 and compete this one out. I'm stoked for when we get a Top Golf. No. It's going to be fun. You know what? I'm more and more recently, I've been very grateful for the weather we have and where we live. On that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today, guys uh, and girls. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. And you're listening to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. Please leave us a review. It really helps. Thanks, guys and girls. Bye. Bye.